Do you remember during Sacred Games, there were a couple of times, I think, when we commented on, I learned something from Nuwaz's character? It's all he really says. <laughs> well, you know what it is, right? <laughs> <laughs> Back to our stupid reactions, you did some Corbin. I am Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Get the freaking juicy content. Thank you, Rosalyn. Patreon will follow official Twitter account. And yes, you can believe the title. This is true. This we is really finally, really finally, finally, finally did which Home 3. Yes. <laughs> and let, let me tell you, I'm glad we waited. <laughs> Somebody's looking at this one. What? I thought this was Gangs of Blossom. <laughs> and we've got to be the. I, we probably are the people who took the longest and of all the films to do this with this was not made as a part one and a part two no it was made it was made film. as a single film yeah I know. and we took what 10 months yeah it's been nine a months uh well <laughs> we're so stupid sorry uh anyways i'm a buffoon but yes we finally watched gangs of wasp her part Duh. Uh, directed by Anwar Koshia. Yep. Starring Nawazuddin and Siddiqui. Um, and a, a ton of people. A Raj, huge cast. Raj, Raj Kumar Rao. Rao. Um, and a bunch of folks that we've known and watched for a while. The guy who sang that song. Yep. Uh, we the, know a lot of the faces and just don't know their names yet the way you guys do. But we're, we're getting there. Nawazuddin and Siddiqui. Uh, but, yes. Sorry it took so long. I think... Um, Better late than never, that's what I think. I think we watched it too soon. The the first one. Uh, honestly, I do. Uh, Probably so. Because, remember, I think one of our biggest gripes, I don't know if you remember, was the length. It's only was it really? two and a half hours long. Then it was way too early. Was, yeah. that, was that when we were first getting yeah. acclimated it's to one Indian runtime? First time? things. Yeah. And we were concerned about a two and a half hour runtime. <laughs> Still Chaka High was like three hours. <laughs> Ligon was almost four. Yeah, I know. So, like like I said, I, I think it was a little too soon I'm for us. I'm telling you, when I watch American movies now, it's like, oh, it's over? Yeah. Wow. The hour and a half run times. Yeah, 90 minute so run times is like, what? But anyways, yes. 100% uh, spoiler review. If yeah. you haven't seen it, uh, I, it, I'm pretty sure you've seen it. Uh, but yes, your initial thoughts, Rick. Godfather, gotcha. Scarface, mm -hmm. uh, you could go down the list. Mm -hmm. I consider the Gangs of Wasper, and it's not a one and two for me. Mm -hmm. It is one film. And on IMDb, it's listed as one film. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a five-hour film. Yep. And it is. This is, for me, one of the greatest gangster movies ever made. And if someone were to say to me, this is their favorite of all time, I, I, I probably wouldn't argue with them and say, I get it. I 100% agree, and I'm really glad you agree. Because <laughs> I was ready to play yeah, this. It's gonna, it's gonna, gonna be on, on, on three. Well, I said, <laughs> I, said that I had just finished watching it. I was talking to Andrani, and I was telling her, I said, I can't imagine Corbin doesn't feel the same way, but it'll be really funny if he doesn't, because I, I consider this, this is like we've. I, the I, pinnacle I, is header for us, right? Yeah. This for me is right up in that category yeah, of it, one it, of the best things we've ever seen. It's also very different than header. For, it's uh, totally different. It's very, very totally, different. But I just mean as far as us being I, blown away. I actually, I think I would watch this over The Godfather. Uh, not diminishing. If you haven't seen Godfather, go watch Godfather. It's one parts of the, one and two. It's most one of the most amazing masterpieces of cinema. Yep. Ever. But since this is more recent. Yeah. So, like, the graphics and the violence is much more up-to-date, even yeah. though the violence in Godfather is amazing. But... <laughs> it is. And for the day, yeah, it for was the over day. the top. Absolutely. Yeah. But this um, has so many elements in it that I just loved so much. And I love... Even though there's not two parts, the second part stepped it up a thousand notches. 100%. And uh, in the, in the very much the same way Godfather Part 1 and 2, two. Part 2, many people consider to be the better film. I consider it to be the better yeah. film. And, but they're one. They're one film. Yeah, it's it's all it's all one from just like this. And I believe I think it was Scorsese that said this is one of his. He loves this. He film. did. Yeah. yeah. He pointed out that this is for him. Like, and I get it. And I I also said this to Andrani. I was talking about the film and giving a rundown of it. My my take. Has she not seen it. She hasn't seen it yet. No, but she she's going to now based on my yeah. recommendation for it. And the 
I don't want to compare him to Scorsese or Tarantino, though those are the first directors that come to mind, mm -hmm. because I feel like he is enough of a standalone director of his own that yeah. he's... He, you, I mean, yeah, you can make a gangster movie. Everybody's going to say Scorsese because he's the king of the gangster movies, right? Yeah. And and Tarantino is... Yeah, he's just but so unique. And unique and graphic yeah. and, and dialogue-driven. There's so much dialogue-driven stuff in this. I have so much great stuff to say about yeah, this Yeah, we could uh, talk about it all. <laughs> but he's his own director. I'm, I'm very glad that the subs on this one had cursing. Because I don't know if you remember. I do. The first... Episode. I do. I, and, and the that, subs that was one much of my, better on this. That's my my biggest complaint. I think it was on Netflix at the time. Yeah, because we had to rent. This yeah, thing. it said like it would say sister lover. Yeah. So like that was my biggest gripe with the, one of the first ones is that there wasn't any cussing, and then people were like, "What the heck are you, what talking, are you talking about?" about? <laughs> this thing is freaking <laughs> loaded with profanity. This one, thankfully, had all the cussing. Oh, <laughs> like because that it just takes you out of the world if you're not they're not talking like they're in the world. It really does. Uh, but. So this, the subs on this one for us were, were way, way better than the, when we watched the first one. But the first guy we could talk about is the, one of the undisputed greatest actors I've ever seen. Uh, it's Noir Zedin Yeah, <laughs> that's, the <other> thing, <laughs> that's the other thing I told him, Johnny. Yeah. I said, Corbin's bromance with Noir oh, has just left the universe. The man is amazing. Yeah. Also, just the what what he let. This is really early in his career. This is one of his biggest breaks. Yeah, uh, in his career, um, and you understand why. Uh, but the uh, the first moment when Anya Kashyap, who we will talk about because he's the biggest reason for this amazing film, obviously. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we were fifteen minutes in the film, and he decides to whack off his friend's head, <laughs> and Anya Kashyap does not. Let you look away. Yeah, it is like five minutes. It feels like I'm just I'm just, just slicing his head open, squirting everywhere. Oh, it was amazing, amazing. Oh, and it, it reminded me of like uh, I don't know if you ever seen Sweeney Todd. But oh the, yes, the over, even though like there would be a lot of blood if you were cutting off somebody's head, right? But it was like, <laughs> yeah, he hit the arteries. It was uh, spraying everywhere, and so it just sprang. And I was like, when is he gonna let us? When is he gonna cut? Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping, based on those movements, I was thinking, okay, he's not just slitting his throat, he's chopping his head off, please don't cut away and let me watch Nawaz lift his bloody head, and he didn't disappoint. Yeah, it was one of my favorite moments of um, Inglorious Bastards, um, there's a lot of moments, like it's like we said, similar Tarantino, but very different directing style, Yeah. but one of my favorite moments with Tarantino in that film is when the, the bear Jew, have you seen that film? Oh yeah, many okay. times. He was gonna come hit him with a bat, and you yeah. thought they were just gonna cut to black, but no. no. Then you saw him hit his head multiple, multiple times, times with a baseball and bat. And the yeah. blood, yeah. It's, <laughs> I love those moments in films <laughs> because it makes people uncomfortable, and I love making people uncomfortable. Yep. Uh, not weird ways, though. <laughs> just wanna clarify that. Thank you. <laughs> really? That's a but yes. weird shirt. I love making people uncomfortable. Uh, but not in weird ways. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. That's on the back. I, I loved uh, the whole Nawaz and Siddiqui performance and his whole arc throughout the entire thing. Yeah, it, that's another thing where it's reminiscent but in no way a copy. And I say this by comparison because it's as good. It's in no way a copy. But the relationships of a father and son in this film were very similar to the way Vito and Michael Corleone mm -hmm. are in a family. And I love the moment. I thought, I thought it was a very believable and an important moment <coughs> when, that he had where he really breaks down with his wife Yeah, and, toward the end. And it's that Michael Corleone moment because Michael was the one who wasn't supposed to be in the family. Yeah. And I loved her singing to him. And I just, I felt the arc. I felt for the number of characters in this film, if, if this had been an American film, this undoubtedly mm -hmm. would have been nominated for everything, including Best Actor, best and Cat, it would have gotten Best Picture, it would have gotten probably Best Score, it would have gotten Best Makeup, it would have, that was the other thing they did. In addition to some of the graphic, violent, bloody makeup, a lot of the old age makeup was extremely nuanced and, and nicely delicate in the aging process for some people. Little things under the eyes, and we've complained quite a bit sometimes from films we've seen from India that didn't do that well. Yeah. Um, and just 
the ensemble work. This would have had a SAG nomination for the whole ensemble because oh, yeah. everybody in this was and so good. I don't know what happened that year, why it didn't get nominated for minimum foreign film. Maybe it was the length because I guess Americans, especially since it's one film and it's labeled as one film, like if this was an American thing, they would have cut it up. And they would have released they part it, one. They would have made it three parts. Yeah, yeah or, they, they would have released part or done it as a series. And that's how it would have been done because Americans don't have the um, attention, span. attention span for it. Uh, even though the second one, I think they would. I would sincerely, uh, I... The, se I, the second one's fast enough it is. to where people would uh, be interested in what's going on and be able to keep up. But since you have to get all the way to there, yeah. uh, even though part one's really, really good as well, it's just, it's it's slower, just like Godfather 1. Um, yeah. And yeah. so I'm, I'm wondering yeah. if that's why the, the Academy and people in America didn't... It's I gotta mean, be. I know people did take notice. Uh, well, Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese did because he's a cinephile. He knows... Yes. He but knows and loves film. This is, yeah, absolutely one of the greatest gangster films I've All time. ever seen. It is instantly... As I was watching it, I realized when we got over halfway through... I thought, this is right up there. If someone were to say to me, Rick, what in your opinion are the greatest gangster films of all time? They're gonna know I'm gonna say Godfather. They're gonna know I'm gonna say Scarface. Good they fellas. won't know, yeah, Goodfellas. They, they, they aren't gonna know that, that I'm gonna bring, and bring up Gangs of Wasper. It's, it's gonna be, and Gangs of New York. Though that's not, uh, that's a gang story. I adore Gangs of New York. I, I feel that's more of a personal story than it is about, yeah, the even gang though the gangs are so central, yeah. <laughs> but it is, without question, this isn't an India cinema, American cinema. This is cinema. This is one of the greatest gangster films. And if somebody said, like I said, if someone said to me this is their favorite, they think it's the best gangster film of all time, I would not argue with that. Yeah, and I thought there's so many people, uh, like the... <laughs> I loved what we were talking about Nawaz, the, the, his, his arc of it, of um, almost reluctantly joining the family, mm -hmm. um, but since everybody else, um, <coughs> little dabble do you, uh, basically in the first 15 minutes they killed off everybody from the first film, basically. <laughs> I was like, okay, so we need no catching up here, they're yeah. all dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they killed them all, and so he was like the only one left, and so he felt this responsibility to um, avenge his father. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like that's the only reason he did it, but he had come to terms his entire life with basically, I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. it, like he said multiple times, either God's going to kill me or yeah. my neighbor will. My neighbor will, exactly. Um, and so he was really dead, which is why I think he was so cool under pressure all the time. Right. I never saw him really flinch. No. Like at all. Mm -hmm. Like even when his house was being shot up, he was just walking around the house. And then, oh, that whole scene where yes, you want to get into that followed him from the. You want to get into that? <laughs> Holy cow, Should man! Yes. That was Birdman level brilliant, and I wanted to know if Anya Rakashev had done that as a as a full because the points where he goes into a hallway and it gets black is a lot like that full seven minute shot in Birdman. Yeah, where but we know that that was a full seven minute shot, so I'm suspecting there were no cutaways. Yeah, I'm suspecting that was a full. That was just. Cinematic brilliance. Yeah, the whole following through the house and then having him when he when he got hurt and then when he jumped and then and he, he breaks, his, breaks his leg, his leg and he's oh. holding it and then he goes back out to the front and I love the tie-in because they brought us back to the beginning of Gangs of Wasserberg. Yep. And t tied that up and then kept going. I also, one of the, just as great writing and great directing. I, I was expecting Definite to kill Faisal. Mm-hmm. At the moment when he had been shooting up his arch nemesis on the on the toilet, right? I think he was sitting on a toilet, wasn't he, in the yeah. bathroom? Yeah, he was. And he's just dun 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 dun, right? I was waiting. I, I said, here it comes. I was waiting for Definite to stick the gun up to his head and shoot him, kind of a la. If you haven't seen The Departed, there's a critical moment in The Departed where somebody you don't expect to die dies unexpectedly. I was expecting that, and it didn't happen. I thought, huh. And then when he's sitting in the back of the car, mm. which, how great a moment is that? The blood coming out of his mouth. I, th I thought, definite got him. And around the corner of the window, did you see definite? You saw, you saw that coming, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw it coming because I, I figured, actually, Nawaz's character wanted it to happen as well. Because that's what the whole thing was at the end when he was finally getting his arch nemesis, the person that basically destroyed his whole family. 
and that his life has been about. That's why he drilled into him with hundreds and hundreds of bullets. Yeah. <laughs> and he went so, like, I'm hoping a lot of people got uncomfortable <laughs> during that scene. They're like, okay, we okay, get it. Right. No, like, he, his entire life was trying to end this. Right. And that, that was his, basically, that was his purpose. And he was like, I'm not... I'm not leaving here. Right. Whether it's the police are going to kill me, but I think I think he knew that definite was going to kill him. Yeah. Or definite at that point saw that he was he was far gone. Right. And he was like he was kind of cuckoo because he wasn't leaving. Mm -hmm. He was just letting everybody else die. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that was ridiculous. I love the moment, like the, the fact that they once again, like with the head chopping off, they just sat there. And let him watch us and watch him get bullet drilled into him for minutes. A long time. And that whole, that was very Tarantino. Mm -hmm. as, as I loved the whole hospital sequence. It was just mm -hmm. so great. And I also loved little things like, I don't know if you laughed out loud, but I did. The whole, the natural, and there were several moments like this, where Nawaz and Tzadik on the phone, Faisal's on the phone, and he wants to know what Definite's real name is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That whole scene was hysterical. <laughs> oh, his name's Definite. But what does Definite mean? It means Definite. Yeah, but what was his real birth name? And if you watch Nawazid and Siddiqui, he is... You think you're watching a guy having this conversation, really getting frustrated and listening and responding. And it's just... He's filled with great moments absolutely. like that. And uh, that, that toilet scene, this film is not based on a true story, but it's based on real people mm. and real events. Mm. Um that moment happened to somebody. Really? And they said, um, like I said, this is not based on... Right, but it's... it's he wrote well, it's it... kind of like The Godfather. Of, yeah. The Godfather isn't based on real people, but those kinds of events took place in the mafia. Yeah, apparently this guy that got shot up when they tried to take him off the toilet, his bone, his flesh fell off his bones. Because he was just shredded. Shredded, shredded from bullets. Uh, wow. And so it was kind of based on the true events uh, that happened in Wasipur. Um, but yeah, that's, which was crazy. And there were moments too that totally shocked me. Like I didn't see and was shocked, like, uh, like appalled at the two women who got assassinated just oh, yeah. out of the blue. Yeah. When, um, when he just went in there and he was like, right in the head. <laughs> She's like, well, is your arm okay? And just <laughs> that. And again, reminiscent of, of Scorsese, but totally his own. And mantle of of, of I, I love the moment when Nawaz went into the place and he made the guy shave his head off. Yeah, just to kill him. Just right to kill after. him. Just to just to shame him. <laughs> yeah, I and, laughed so many times. And the film. songs. How about the? Oh, yeah, the this is where the this is where the the subs did such a great job. I felt because the lyrics and the songs and the vulgarity that they were being conveyed were sometimes flat out hysterically funny. That that was what was being sung. While this is going on screen, yeah, the score that um, Anya Kashyap and uh, the uh, she, this composer, is this it right here? Yes, and there's very little left on her. I don't know what's going on and why. I don't know if she stopped, but if you go to her IMDb page, mm -hmm. I was astonished to see so little on it, both past and present. I don't really? know what the deal is because I felt that this was like Oscar level. Yeah, and it was, it was such an interesting score, too, because at certain moments you had basically dubstep going yes. on, which is which was basically him telling you what was going on in that character's brain. Exactly. Those songs were representative of the characters. Yeah. Yes. They were what's going on in their brain. They feel like a rock star. There's just, they're, they're almost like high. Right. <laughs> they just did... Just going crazy. Yeah, and it was either the character representation <clears throat> or the scenario representation, and which it was, was brilliant. So so brilliant and so different for India. You don't you don't see that a lot. You see a lot of the traditional uh, stuff going on, the music going on in the background. I bet that's why Scorsese, among many reasons, loves this because Scorsese music is very very important to him. Mm -hmm. He's done a documentary on the Rolling Stones. Everything he selects musically for his things is really important to him. Example, Gangs of New York. He wanted to choose pieces of music that were representative of the era and from the era when he used an actual <clears throat> piece of music. So the fact that the, the music is so on point, uh, and it is, I feel like if this had been a film that had been released in America and no one was thinking about it in anything other than a film, this would have had multiple Oscar nominations. Uh, multiple. I Oscar forget who came out that same year, but Nawaz should have been nominated for Best Actor as well, and could have won because that that was such an amazing performance of his. 
And that, also we can talk about the whole cast. Rajkumar Rao's character, one, I, I barely recognized him when he first came on screen. Yep. And, and then I was like, oh yeah, that's Rajkumar, this is so exciting. <laughs> uh, but his character was so interesting and different from, uh, I know we've seen very little of him, but I mean, we know his reputation is yes. le like a, one of the best actors out of India. Right. Um, and it, it showed in this, uh, he, when he was sparring with uh, Nawaz and Siddiqui, uh, acting wise, not actually. <laughs> It was really fun to watch. Also, one of my other favorite guys was the um, uh, the gay guy. Uh, what was his name? Um, uh, the young kid. Um, um, what was his name? I don't know. I don't know. Perpendicular. There you go. Yeah. Yes. I thought he did really, really well, actually. I, I thought everybody did well. I thought the actor who played Definite did well. Yeah. I thought his mother was great. I thought his wife was great. I thought all of the, the surrounding characters, Sultan, who we've seen, wasn't Sultan in, uh, wasn't he the, the guy who was in, um, uh, with who you, who you just mentioned, who's in the film as well. My brain is just dying right now. Rajkumar Rao? Yes, he was with Rajkumar Rao in that film with the one, it's got the one name, the name of the main Newton. character. Yeah. He, he's it's the same, right? They were in Newton together. Yeah, he's the same guy same that's guy. also in Sacred Games. Correct. Which, that's another thing. It's very obvious that Netflix was like, why wouldn't you want this director and this actor? And that, I just, I am so impressed with this and with Sacred Games, Anyara Kashyap's capacity as a director, obviously we knew Nawaz, but his ability to bring out what he did and the casting of all, there wasn't anybody who didn't do a great job in all of the small, and this has a lot of small roles yes. surrounding it that if they're not done well, <clears throat> will throw you off track, especially when everything else is so good. You know, there were other parts, it was a small part, but a part I really loved that just kept coming up was the, the singer. I did too. Every single it was time the same like guy. somebody died, the same it was guy, that guy. And he just kept singing like he was like having the best time of his life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after somebody just died, I thought it was hilarious. This is one of the things that I love about, like I said, he's not Tarantino, but one of the things I love about Tarantino, like the fact that his films are so dark, but I laugh so much mm -hmm. in Quentin Tarantino films. I do too. And I laughed. You might be surprised, or maybe not. I laughed a ton throughout this film. Oh yeah, I had a good time. Like I laughed when he, his head was being chopped off because I was enjoying it so much. <laughs> I'm with you. I am with you. And that's also why I had to keep my voice down when I watched The Joker as well. Because <laughs> those moments in films, like certain moments in Joker that you know, yeah. that they just excite me so much. That they're just showing this and people are uncomfortable around me. Yeah. I start laughing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm enjoying it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I have nothing but this is I, I, A plus. I cannot Oscar level. wait to watch another um, Anya Kashyap film. Uh, and I know you've been telling us that, of yes. course, he's one of the, the best uh, actor. And oh, another moment from the, not moment, but uh, another thing that I really appreciated him putting in the thing. Uh, one obviously Nawaz and a lot of people in this film were obsessed with Bollywood films. Yeah, and then he made a, he made a big statement in big this statement. about the uh, like everybody wants to be a love a, that a Bollywood superstar. Love that scene. Yeah, where he's talking about how he's survived for so long mm -hmm. and gives that a, yes. I absolutely I love that he was making a statement because like he 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 does that from I know his reputation basically from what you guys has told us, but. Like he makes such different films and likes to make points in his films and likes antiheroes, likes antiheroes, yeah. and and once again, I'm not saying he was glorifying anything in this. <laughs> not at all. People are dumb, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but like because they think I, I saw a review that said he he thinks that since these people look so cool killing people, it was glorifying. I'm like, shut up! It's a goddamn film. They're telling a story. <sighs> It's just, it's annoying. That These kinds of things don't change the way people think for people <laughs> who actually think. Yeah. I, anyways. But, uh, yeah, I'm with I, you. I can't wait to watch another, you know I can't wait to watch another Nawaz and Sneaky film. Of course. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I cannot wait to watch another Anyard Kashyap film. Yeah. So please let us know. I give this A++++++. plus 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 Off the charts. This is one of my favorite movies all time. Yeah, absolutely. And it is, again, one of the greatest gangster films. And I would encourage anybody who's watching it, I, I agree with you, I think this is one of those films, it would help, like, example, I got the joke when he was buying bananas, 
that he, he was probably Lucy, quote unquote. And I, the only reason I know that is because of having been exposed to. The, it was Indrani who taught me about bananas. Mm -hmm. So the, the the more the more you know about. And they made a India, lot of and Indian culture. Salman Khan jokes. Yeah. They, they talked about uh, Amitabh Bachchan. Bachchan. They talked about... The more you're going to appreciate this. And even having... I would I would encourage an American audience to watch Sacred Games first. Mm -hmm. And then come in here. Maybe. Because you'd appreciate Nawaz. You'd appreciate Anurag Kashyap. And you'd get a sense for what he's trying to talk about as far as corruption. Mm -hmm. And the politics of, of, of the regional things. You get a lot of that, obviously, coming out of Sacred Games. Yeah. But I would tell anybody who's watching it, I jokingly said this to Andrani, I said, what you do is you, you go ahead, you just get your tent ready, get some food rations to last you for the amount of time it's going to take to you know, stand, withstand the weather, watch both of these things as one film. Mm -hmm. Take the five hours and watch it. Either, and I know that's why they're all saying, yeah, it took you guys nine months to watch part two. We're very sorry. You were right. We should have watched them back to back. Also, please don't recommend this right away to people just being introduced to Bollywood. Right no. Uh, that I, this requires two things. Because once again, we had been introduced a little bit to Bollywood, but I still think Not we enough. watched the first one way too soon. Too soon. Way too soon. This requires two things. It requires somebody to have uh, at least a an entrance level understanding to, to India and Indian culture and cinema. Yeah. And then you also really need to have a, you need to be a movie lover. I don't know that, I don't know that people who don't just love watching actors walk around. Yeah. And would, you, would have a stomach for this. Obviously if you don't like violence, you're not going to like yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. This isn't for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't for the little ones. Uh, Leland watched it with me. Did he? Well, he was, I mean, he was asleep, but <laughs> well, I'm glad you're influencing him. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, that was great. Please let us know what Nawaz film we should watch next, and also what Anya Kashyap. I believe. Oh it's, man, I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be Black Friday. I believe it's Black Friday yep. because um, this also has that or Dev D. Yeah, Dev D. But uh, this one has a uh, KK Menon. Yeah, KK what's in it? KK Menon. Uh, and I believe it, Nawaz is in it as well. Is it? Can't remember, and a couple other people from from well, games. and I'm excited for anything else that Anyar Kashyap is going to put his hands to right now because he is for me of the directors we've seen, you know, right off the top of my head, and there's a bunch if I leave them out, obviously, but Sanjay Leela Bansali, Vishal Bardwaj, mm -hmm. Zoya Akhtar, yeah. and Anyar Kashyap, all very different, which is great. Oh, and and for uh, the other one I'm excited about, oh goodness gracious, this is. Awful that his name is escaping me right now. What's he from? Kahani. Oh, uh, Sujoy. Yes. Sujoy. Thank Josh, you. Right? Josh, yes. Yeah, Sujoy Josh. would be like, Rick, we were just talking about him. <laughs> um, yes. But yes, please let us know what of his films, if it's Black Friday, please let us know because um, we're on it. You we're were all right. over that, like blood all over an Anurag Kashyap project. You were right. <laughs>